Hey, sorry I'm late. The coffee guy was- Assaulting your head? What is going on up there? Is it bad? Before I answer that question, do you currently have a knife on you? Yeah, several. Then I love it. It really is hair. It's bad, Rosa. You look like Edna from The Incredibles. I'm sorry, don't stab me. <sighs> My girlfriend Jocelyn's been practicing a bunch of different hairstyles on me. She's in cosmetology school. Is she passing? Honestly, I don't know. Nikki won't talk to cops, so we gotta send someone in as a customer, get her to open up, start gossiping. Send me. I'm a gossip surgeon. I can get anything out of anyone. You can't go undercover. You're not a cop. <laughs> How am I not a cop, Terry? Because they don't have a badge. Being a cop is a state of mind. It's definitely not. Diaz, the mission is yours. Great. I love strangers touching my head. Rosa, you look amazing. Secondly, I made an appointment at the salon with Nikki for you under the name Gabriela Fuentes de San Miguel Estrada. I had fun with the name. Clearly. Here's the plan. Gabriela Fuentes de San Miguel Estrada gossips about her love life. Then, Nikki opens up about hers. Yeah, this is the problem. I suck at gossiping. Which is why I brought along a specialist. Gina will be in your ear feeding you stories. I will be basing Gabriella on my sister's friend, Dana. Just be warned, Dana real sloppy. So, Nikki, I always want to get my hair cut here. Everyone says you're the best. Oh my god. I love your earrings. Where did you get those hoops? Hmm, I don't know. Oh no. Nikki's not a talker. We're screwed. Don't worry, Angel. Gina's got this crackety crack. Rosa, repeat after me and don't change a thing. Can I tell you the craziest story? One time I was like so drunk and this meathead comes up to me and his body is hot, but his face is like, okay. So I'm like, why? And I was like, bitch, I'm not gonna sleep with you just because you promised to take me to the Bahamas. Take me to the Bahamas first and then we'll see what happens, okay? I was only with him because he drove a Jaguar. Turns out, it was Mercury with a Thundercat taped to the hood. And that relationship lasted for three months. I don't know why we broke up. I guess we just grew apart when he went to prison for life. I hear that. The guy I'm seeing is into some shady stuff. Right? There it is, the breakthrough. Follow up, follow up. So, how'd you guys meet? That's a funny story. <laughs> the next time. You're all done, and you look hot, girl. No, no, she was opening up. Rosa, figure out a way to stay in that chair. Hey, Nikki, I was just wondering, how do you think I would look as a blonde? Like a Danielle Steele novel. My goodness, did Mother Gothel finally let you out of the tower to see the lanterns that fly for your birthday? What? It was a tangled burn. Charles and I watched it for bros night. Cool. Morning, Rosa. I see you're still going out with Edward Scissorhands. You seem particularly chipper this morning. Indeed I am, because I finally tracked down the guy who delivered our Vic his final meal, and in so doing, maybe saw the other two guys who bled all over this apartment. We don't know there were three people in this apartment. The delivery guy kept starting over. Apparently, he's always high. I'm sorry, ma'am. Our big break turned into nothing. Detectives. I used to see my boyfriend on Friday nights after his wife went to bed, but then he left town a couple of weeks ago. You're all done here, gorgeous. Ah! Uh, uh, but finish what you were saying. Uh, where'd your boyfriend run off to? Uh, that is a story for next time. Rosa, we're so close. You can't leave. Tell her you want a perm. I want a perm. A big old perm. Great idea. Dick was face down. Cast off splatter suggests upward knife slices. No signs of forced entry. Laptop wallet keys were all there. Doesn't, Doesn't connote a robbery. robbery. Wait a minute. Have we said this already? Are we just having the exact same conversation? Yep. Cool. Moving on. Windows and doors locked from the inside. Nobody in or out. Think. Think, uh, oh, the upstairs neighbor and his best friend. Drill through the ceiling, murder Adams, bleed all over the apartment, then climb back up and seal the hole behind them. Negative, we would have found construction debris and microscopic paint fibers. The only thing that needs patching is that theory. <laughs> okay, new idea. We're gonna get inside the mind of the killer. We eat the veggie wraps. Here we go. Mm. Oh, this shit bastard. Oh, man. This is one twisted mother. Oh, to be raw. This guy is demented, Rosa. Okay, all we have to do is figure out what kind of person can walk by cameras without being seen. Someone camouflaged as a wall. Unlikely. Harry Potter in his invisibility cloak. Not a real person. Baba Duke. Doesn't exist. What about a looper situation? It's not a looper situation. It could totally be a looper situation. Not a looper situation. This is my least favorite hair. Oh my God, Rosa, come here. Look at the blood spatter. Do you see what I see? Uh, blood. In the exact shape of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Peck, peck, delt, delt. Big Samoan tattoo. Rosa, I think I just made a connection. The number three is everywhere. Three people, three types of blood, and guess what the tax was on the veggie wraps? Three dollars and 19 cents. But if you ignore the 19, then it's three. Okay, you've lost your mind. What, who told you that? Was it room? No, it's the fact that you think the room has a voice and also you're working in your boxers. What? To beat the heat, Rosa, to beat the heat. Look, I know you're mad at me, but I only gave away that case to help you. 
You were acting like a lunatic. Don't even worry about it. You were totally right. I was in way too deep. And honestly, I feel so free not having to work that case anymore. So thank you. Cool, you're welcome. What's up with all the ketchup? Thank you for asking, Rosa. It's for my hot dog. Anyways, this has been a great chat, but I better get back to my hot dog. Oh, Rosa. <laughs> it's just you. I thought I was really going crazy for a second there. <clears throat> it was just person, Rosa. Like crap. You look like a freshman at an all-women's college. I don't think you're in a position to be offering criticism right now. More than fair. Rosa, do you guys have any idea where Seamus Murphy is? We have a huge problem. Yeah, we all have huge problems. You kind of look like Phil Spector when he was on trial. <laughs>